So here at Willow Springs, for bikes and burgers with Moto America. For this motor adventure, I'd fire my Mad Max CBR into life. Gear up. And then blast off for a day of high revs and high speed. As I headed out to the fastest racetrack in the west. Fire the back roads. season of motorcycle racing gets underway here in the US, Moto America put on a track day experience at Willow Springs and then invited a bunch of their racers and other motorcycle enthusiasts to come for a blast around and chomp on a burger for lunch. And before we got started, I caught up with pro motorcycle racer Josh Herring to explain what Moto America is all about. Yeah, so Moto America is the premier racing, you know, motorcycle racing league in America. Uh, it's been around for about five, six years now. It took over AMA Superbike. Uh, so I raced AMA Superbike from the time I was 16, so 2006, all the way to now. And uh, now we got somebody doing burnouts in the background. Probably Aaron Colton. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, just super fun. It's just top racing, fast, going over 200 miles an hour, dragging elbow, dragging knee. Lots of cool crashes and yeah, it's exciting. So if you guys get the chance, come out, check it out. A lot of fun. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, no worries. Right, the next stop. Let's go get that burger. Now with that burger demolished, let's go and borrow some gear and find some fast bikes to ride on track. In no time, I was suited and booted thanks to Alpine Stars. It's always good to put the leather suit on and get out on track. And then the boss unexpectedly offered me a ride on his gorgeous Ducati Panigale. How could I say no? So my first ride will be on the sleek looking V4R, a bike born for the track. Okay, so here we are riding at Willow Springs, a Ducati Panigale V4R. And this place is the fastest track. And it's a heck of a windy day. Okay, let's wind her up. Beautiful sound from the Ducati motor. Wow, it really turns nicely. I 
nice and smooth. Super fast, super smooth. If you're into track days, wow, this is quite a machine. Woo! Oh, wow, that was fun. <laughs> Going on the hunt for my next bike, I noticed my buddy Roland Sands pulling in on a beast of a machine. So I went to check it out and see if I could blag a ride. Look at this, Roland Sands has done it again. As you know, he makes us pretty rad hooligan flat trackers, but now he is a road racer. Short and swinging arm, jacked up rear end, and some slick tires. Oh my gosh, you're going from one extreme to the other. Remember that? <laughs> oh my goodness, one extreme to the other going from that Ducati to this thing. Wow! This thing loud, obnoxious, wobbly. <laughs> well, I've gone from tall suspension to riding a big old wobbly big girl but it feels awesome <laughs> remembering GP shift oh it's got some good torque this is actually a pretty fun bike I just followed around GSXR. Oh my god, that thing is nuts. I'm exhausted. 
Oh, got a proper arm <laughs> pump. Yeah, there's no steering dampener, no bar heads. Like, just there's no wind protection. Uh, we just hucked it together. On Woo. So we could get here. Yeah, amazing. Oh, that was crazy. Thanks, buddy. That was crazy. Oh, thanks, Roland, for another fun experience. Strolling through the paddock, I saw fellow moto influencer Adam Wahid. So I popped over to see what he was up to these days and what bike he was riding. Everything's going good with work. We're just riding bikes and having some cold ones on the side and making some cool videos and that's life. Today we're out here riding our sport bikes. I've got a 2021 S1000RR BMW, BMW's latest and greatest super bike. That thing is just insane. If you ever had a go on that thing, you twist the throttle, it is just unbelievable how fast it is. And because I like to have two of everything, I brought the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R. So Suzuki's up-spec Gixxer 1000R, which, you know, you've ridden this thing, that bike at Willow Springs. There's nothing like riding a Gixxer 1000 at the fastest road in the west. Mr. Wahid is letting me have a rip on his Suzuki GSX-R. Woohoo! GSX-R 1000R. Ah, thank you my friend. Well, I'm riding some bikes today. And now the very fun GSX-R. It's been a while since I rode a GSX-R to be honest with you. But they're such a rapid machine and super fun. Straight away, serious power. Now, get a bit of heat into these tyres. Back to road shift. Oh, it's always hard doing that on track. Switching shifts back and forth. Probably here it's a very windy day here at Willow. Ooh, wow, from the Indian that had loads of engine braking. This feels like it hardly has any. Oh, I feel such a different riding position. Look at this, just hugging the inside. Oh, I'm having to really think about my gear change because I don't want to go down the wrong way. It's never a nice feeling thinking about which gear, where to change gear. Suspension feels good. Oh, tumbleweed. Some traffic. Bye. 
fast Whew. that was super fast and loads of fun now let's get these leathers off and go and have a chat to a few riders uh, we're out here at Willow Springs today and we came out to test our Indian FTR 1200 super hooligan road racer it has been like a successful day the stoke level is very high I haven't been out here in a really long time so I haven't been like properly on a road race bike on this track and like I think it's been like 20 years. I mean, I grew up at this track, probably have thousands of laps around this racetrack. Grew up riding 250 Grand Prix bikes out here and won an AMA National in 1998, which was one of only two AMA Nationals that happened at this track. There was one in 90, one in 98. Yeah, it's been a long time. I broke the track record back then. So it was like coming back and getting back on this track, it was just like immediately felt completely normal. And you know, you know how, I mean, when you jump back on a road race track, especially if you haven't been there in a really long time, it's like, it's like, it's just, in, it's ingrained in your, in your nature. You know, that's what it, that's what it felt like coming back out here today. So it was, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy I came out and rode. Like, dude, I'm just pumped. When you do it right, it just feels good, dude. It's just, it, it's a feeling of accomplishment. It's, I remember why I was so addicted to road racing. That is wind. You know how that felt in turn eight I today? Oh, it was horrible. Oh, it was and so. Two, oh, yeah. The last one here. Oh, horrible. So under the front, and then you come around. It's like pushing you down. But dude, the exit, exiting two was sick. Yeah. You could just, <laughs> three. you could just bury it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's cool to see what it's. It's gonna be cool to see what Moto America can do and how they can grow their series. I think a big part of that is stuff like the Bagger series, you know, being able to go race baggers and do something that nobody thought was possible and actually do it like at a good level. Mm -hmm. So now with the hooligan bikes, I mean, it just is a throwback. You look at those bikes and it just takes you right back to 1980, but there's some technology behind them now and the bikes are good. You rode the bike today. Yeah, fun. The bike works. The most important thing to me is that it is fun, that it's not just like hairball and it's fun. It's bad, yeah, I'm pumped. Awesome, good job buddy. All right. Next up, I caught up with the king of wheelies and burnouts. I've been on a pretty rigorous film schedule with my series recently, so I was able to break away for Moto America track day. I brought up my FTR 1200 and Roland's got two of his. They're all set up a little bit different, so it's it's been pretty cool. We've been shaving seconds on these bikes, and it's something I haven't really changed the setup on for mine, so it's definitely a good day to be doing that. What are you doing at home? So back home, we're doing another uh, another series this year, which is my garage bike building series on Rebels YouTube channel. That's been going sweet. We've started to diversify a little bit. I have an episode coming out in a couple days that's actually like a track-oriented canyon bike, uh, Honda Hawk V-Twin. So we're going throughout a whole bunch of different categories and like that's more than busy. I can build endlessly and it takes a long time to film it, so I'm gonna have a busy year with that. And finally, events are starting to come back on the roster. Like we lost almost all of them last year, so I got three coming up here in the next month or so. So starting to tune back in a little bit. The break has been nice, but I'm definitely looking to travel again. So it's, yeah. uh, it's about time. Just add Aaron Colton across the board. And right now, honestly, we're on about a bi-monthly cadence for new episodes on YouTube. So Red Bull's channel, Bike Build with Aaron Colton. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, buddy. burning rubber ended a great day on two wheels and thanks to Moto America for a great track day experience it had been a blast <laughs> so go do the same gear up 
head out and just go for a ride. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell. Also love some track days. Did you change your oil in, your sh in that shirt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ate a burrito. Oi! Is it in a good position? I don't know. Here, press up, press it, press it down, sticky. Woo! That was my GoPro. <laughs> <laughs>